Good morning, everyone. It's 9.30 right on the nose. Um, and, uh, welcome, our one guest. <laughs> Can you please rise? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We welcome our online as well. Thank you. Good meet to miss you, folks. So we'll open our meeting um, with a moment of silence. There's uh, quite a few things we can be thinking about. I'm thinking about all the young people right now that are suffering over some things happening. Um, so a moment of silence and then followed by the pledge. Our pledge to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any public comment, agenda items only, start a meeting. <clears throat> okay, hearing none, seeing none, we move on to, let's see, let's we have to go into, what's that? And we have to go into, let's, wait for our quick certificate. Okay. Yeah. So we have um, 1,690. In addition, and 206,070 in subtraction for negative 2,438. 2,438. 2,006. Thank you. Okay. Any other any questions? Or Chief Assessor? Okay. Three moving on. About a motion to accept the corrections. You, do I have a motion to accept the corrections? So moved. There's a second. Yes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, good. Thank you. Moving on, old business. Uh, we have the minutes available for review. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of the four April 5th meeting, 2023, commissioner's meeting? So moved. Second. First and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. We don't have any proclamations today. Good morning. Uh, moving on to new business. Number one, motion to approve the actions listed in number one, personnel, items A and D. So moved. Second. First and second, any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number two, electronic financial transactions ratified. So, um, do I have a motion to approve the actions listed in number two, items A, B, and C? Second. Okay. First and second, any discussion? Questions? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Moving on to number three, travel authorization for a combination of approval and ratification. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number three, items A and B? So moved. Second. We have a first and second. Any questions? Discussion? Hearing and seeing them all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Moving on to number four, Monroe County Children and Youth Services. Do I hear a motion to approve the action listed in number four, items A, B, and C? I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. We have a first, we have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And number five, Commissioner's Office. 
Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number five, items A through I? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a first and we have a second. Any discussion? A comment on that, if you would. Um, in um, the original courthouse in the basement, underneath the eight by eight tiles, uh, the mastic that was used was a, uh, at the time, contained some asbestos. So that is the remediation of that um, intent. Well, that's actually the testing and oversight to make sure that the air quality is uh, contained and that the materials are removed within the manner that they are supposed to be. The other thing I want to point out is the sun guard. That is for our coop plan, in case there is a anything that would happen to our IT. That is a recovery service that we utilize in case it should anything happen to the servers here in the county. Backup, right? Major backup. It's a backup, backup. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Hearing that signal, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving on to number six, Monroe County Correctional Facility. Items A and B. Motion to approve the actions listed in number six. So moved. Second. First to second, any discussion? Hearing that signal, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Number seven, Monroe County Emergency Services. Num uh, number seven, item A. Motion to approve the actions listed in number seven. So moved. Second. First and second, any discussion? That's a product that will be carried by the service, emergency services trailers. Should there be a fuel spill or any kind of leak, what they can do is cover storm drains to protect the uh, waterways of Monroe County. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing that, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving on to number eight. Computer capital purchases. Motion to approve the actions listed in number eight. Item A. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing that, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Miscellaneous. I'm just getting close. May 2nd, Community Night at yeah. Northampton Community College. We have over 110 different uh, organizations that will be there. There will be something for everyone. Um, I just want to say that we do um, an IFR where we oftentimes with the district attorney's office, we do a deep dive into somebody who has passed away due to a drug outbreak. What we do is get permission from the families, and what we find is that in the old days, when I first started to be a commissioner, when you did an autopsy, you had a list of drugs, maybe 12 drugs, and somebody overdosed. Now what we find is it's purely fentanyl. Fentanyl is in everything now, from not only uh, what you would inject, but oftentimes fentanyl is even found in marijuana. So one of the big things that we are promoting is a Narcan giveaway. I think everybody that uh, has anybody in their families should have Narcan. Uh, you never know when it's going to creep into your life. And that will be given out at community. Thank you for that. Anything else? Yeah, I wanted to express surprise. I mean, if you're the person who went on that day. Here's a Hiring a new person to fill Cindy's shoes. Big shoes. Well, very big shoes. It's actually <laughs> one in a little bit more because she's going to stay on a little bit to help okay. with the transition. Okay, so it's not totally that. What does a solicitor will probably do when it is turned off? That was a beautiful one. I see. Seven. I'd also like to comment that we are hiring seven. Um, Correctional officers for the jail on this agenda. 
Um, in, uh, we are constantly, every meeting, and our, our warden and his staff are constantly recruiting and working with people uh, to fill those slots. Good news, too. Tara, um, yeah, what's the estimated time frame for probation to get out of Ramsey and come and play? What's the estimated time we're going to be there for? The original schedule was 14 months. From which date? From when they moved in. Which was a month ago? A month mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. So it's still on track to be 14 months? Yeah. yeah. And domestic relations. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Discussion? Go ahead. Um, for Ms. B, can you explain what that is? Which one? Um, under the um, what there is is a, a program that the correctional facility uses to um, track the intake and release of a guest at the correctional facility. That program was um, supported by a program that was hosted by CCAP, and they are no longer supporting that program. So we had to find another program, and Jail Tracker was the one that we picked, and it is used in a number of other correctional facilities throughout the Commonwealth. So uh, RIT and our corrections department vetted that, and uh, this was the best election. Just so folks understand that might be listening, CCAP is the organization that oversees all the counties, commissioning, commissioners, associations across the state, and they're the ones that run at that point. So every county is going to pick up their own kind of thing. And uh, for the other county children, that we service on. Up in times when you have somebody uh, who is in 4B, you're asking about? 4B, yeah. When you have a child that is in, that needs special services, they will increase the per diem to cover oh. those services, okay, for a child that is in foster care. And then um, the last one, can you just review the uh, number A, I mean, number 7A for the Monroe County Emergency Center? That's a grant, it's the Hazardous Materials Response Fund Grant. And what that is, is a cover that can go over a storm drain, okay? So what you can do is essentially block any kind of fuel spill or any kind of uh, hazardous materials that would flow into the storm drains. So what you're able to do is contain that spill without it getting into the uh, wastewater system. Not wastewater, uh, storm water system. Is this because it's that have been happening around it's it's a response to spills that are happening everywhere so uh, you know if you have a truck that goes off the side of the road and it has fuel oil you know let's say it's a home heating truck and you have a storm drain close by you can cover that storm drain and that thus mitigate the pollution from the uh, storm water i don't know if anybody noticed that but the storm storm drains after the the major rain we had last week, you drove by them, there was all kinds of stuff on top of them. So that's that's the main water water drag to get get rid of the storm water. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Move we'll adjourn. Okay, we have a motion to adjourn. Thank you. <laughs>